What is going on you guys and welcome back to another exciting video. Now in this video I want to talk about the brand new LumaFusion Kinetic Typography Pack. Now this pack contains 30 Kinetic Typography titles. Easy to customize, easy to change placement, font, text and colors and you can really really personalize this template. Now, in this video, we're going to go through the process of how simple it is to download this from the website, how you do it the proper way to not get any issues. And we're also going to take it into LumaFusion, open it, customize it, and then I'm also going to show you how you can use this on existing projects. So let's say if you have a project, but you want to spice it up with some awesome text, then I'm going to show you that in this video as well. But before we jump over to the iPad, make sure that you are subscribed if you want to see more videos like this. I'm also preparing a few free kinetic typography titles as well, in just in case you want to test them out before you make the purchase on sell, not sell, like on robhk.com. No, robhkvlogs.com. Yes, awesome website. Now that will probably come next week because I'm working on a really exciting video about a LumaFusion update, which is coming very soon. Now let's jump over to the iPad here so you can see a preview of all the kinetic typography titles. And I'm gonna walk you through how easy it is to use. First, let's take a look at the website here on the product itself and how we download this from the website and then import it and use it in LumaFusion. Now inside the product here, you can go down to the description and here under the description, you are able to view the uh, previews of all the different type of kinetic animations. So if you want to check out all the different animations first before you decide to get this uh, kinetic typography pack, you can go on and check out the preview. Now, once you checked out the preview and you want to add this to your cart, you're simply going to tap on the red add to cart button here and that will take you to a new page where you will have to uh, view cart or go to the cart itself. And here you can see the product. Now, once you tap on proceed here, you will get into the account section. Now, once we proceed to checkout, you will be asked if you want to log in or if you have a coupon, or if you want to sign up for your um, uh, for the website. And what you need to do here is to actually register as uh, a customer to have this in your account at all time. So if you want to have it in your account so you can download it if you lose it, you will need to create an account. But you don't have to create an account to actually purchase this product. You can simply fill in the required fields and you will be able to download the product right off the website or you will be able to download it from the email that you receive as well. Now, if you want to sign up and register so you have this stored on the website for later downloads, you will have to tap on the register first before you go into this process. And once you've done that, you simply fill in the username, password and all of that and you go down to the user free. Here at the bottom, there is a user free. So you basically have to just put in your username and password and so on, and then register. And you will then have an account which will store all of your products. Now, if you register to the website here, you can go over to account, then you can go to orders. And here you can find all the different orders that you have. You can also view the latest by tapping on view. And here you can see that you can also download the kinetic typography or the preset that you have purchased directly from the website. Now let's go back to the view cart here and proceed to checkout. And once you filled in all the information here, we're going to go down to the place order, tap on place order. If it's complete, it will take you to this site here or this page where you can download the product directly. Now, once your order is complete, you can simply tap on the red button here, which in this case says Kinetic Typo 30. So once we tap on that, you will be asked if you want to download the product. Do you want to download Kinetic Typography? You're going to tap on the blue download button right here. And on the top right corner here, 
you will see that we now downloaded the kinetic typography. So what you don't want to do is to tap on any of these, you want to go directly over to the files folder because these are zip files and need to be extracted. So what you're going to do now is to go over to the files folder, go over to downloads where it will be located, you're going to find the typography zip file here. So in this case, this will be number three, we're going to tap on that, that will extract a new folder. And once you tap on this folder, you can see all the different kinetic typography titles. Now here you can simply tap on either one of them and they will open up directly in Luma Fusion. Now let's go on and tap on number 10. Now once we get into Luma Fusion here, you can see that we have the kinetic typography here. And the only thing you have to do is to simply change the font, color, placement and the text. Now let's go on and change the text here to something else. So we now changed the text to RobHK LumaFusion Tutorial. Now that was really, really fast. Now let's say if you want to align this a little bit different, you don't want them to be this centered. Maybe you want the top text to be to the left and the bottom text to the right. Now what we're going to do is to go into the um, bottom text here first, which is Tutorial. And we're simply going to go down to the, uh, make sure that you are inside the title section because you don't want to mess around with the keyframing here because that will ruin the animation. So we're going to go to titles, we're going to go down until we find center X and we're simply going to take this and drag to the right. Now we're going to go over to the RobHK text and do the exact same thing, but drag it the opposite way. So now we completely changed the placement of the text as well. So we have RobHK coming in here and then it goes away right here. So let's do a playback of that. Perfect. You can also change the size of it if you want it to be smaller or larger. Let's say you want RobHK to be above LumaFusion, but you want it to be really, really small. You can simply do it like this. You can also just simply find the point where it stops like here and you can just drag it over to that place like that. Go over to frame and fit and see if the placement is good. It's a little bit off still, so we're going to go back to titles. Going to make sure that we get to this point right here and we're going to drag it a little bit more, something like that. Can actually align it a little bit better. Like that. So if we now do a uh, scrub through here, you can see that Rob HK is coming in here and then it stops above Lima Fusion, it goes in and then it goes out. Now let's do that with the tutorial as well. We want this to maybe be in the same type of style as the um, Rob HK text is. So we're going to take this, just de decrease the size, simply going to place it right here over to frame of it just to check the position. It looks great. And we can now do a playback. So now let's say you want this to be on an existing project. Let's see if we can find a video file here. We have this one right here. I'm just going to drag this over to the timeline. Now let's say you want the kinetic typography to be on a project like this. You want it to have it on a video or in a project which you are working on. Now the fastest way to do this is to actually render this out and then place it on top of the clip you want it to, uh, to be or where you want it to be and then choose blending. Now we can go over and find someone which is already rendered. Here we have one. So we're going to take this, drag over to the clip here. And you can see that this is now turning black because it has a black background because LumaFusion cannot render alpha files or transparent backgrounds. So what we're going to do now is to go into edit on this file, go over to frame and fit, over to blending, make sure to change the blending mode to screen. And you now have the text on the video. So you can see it's simple as that. But if you have some darker colors in your text, let's say for example, the, uh, the if we just drag this over here, you can see that we have this gray line coming in here on the overlay here that will turn sort of transparent. So if you're going to do this and if you don't want to use it for a text promo 
or uh, a product uh, review or whatever you want to use the kinetic typography for, I recommend that you try to use uh, light or bright colors, very, very bright colors like white, for example, if you want to use this as overlays and if you want to use it uh, um, uh, for your project, like, like this example right here, because the darker parts or darker colors will turn more or less transparent. Now with these brand new kinetic typography presets, you can create awesome videos. You can use them for business, uh, promo, intro, whatever you want to use them uh, or wherever you want to use them to spice up your videos. It's all up to you and it's really, really easy to customize. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video as well. Let me know if there is any questions about anything that you want to see made in LumaFusion as well. If it's a tutorial or if it's... Um, a preset that you want me to try to make you know I kind of feel that nothing is impossible as long as you have a creative mind hmm yes so again thanks for watching make sure to subscribe check me out on Instagram as well and I'll see you guys in the next video which is coming very very soon